Well, I've been out driving today, not driving the, the monster truck. I did get my uh, servo saver for the uh, steering arm from Proline. Good stuff, made in the USA. What I was driving today was my Tamiya CR01 and I put those tires on that came on that other other truck. So I thought I'd do a little uh, video. I got some running footage. Um, this is a crawler. Uh, it came out many many years ago. I bought mine I bought mine I think 2014 uh, I think it was around 2014, 2013, 2014, so it's a bit old, and I built it and put it together, and I drove it, and I had installed the Tamiya um, uh, drive shafts, the high, the steel drive shafts, the high strength drive shafts, and the axles with no diff, so it's locked, it's locked up, and I drove into a pile of shoes, and I broke the uh, cups for the at the end of the dog bones and then I couldn't get one and then the truck I put aside yada 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 so when the whole pandemic started I uh, got around to actually putting this truck together and started driving it so I've had it out a few times you can see the paint things are a bit knocked up um, so I want to talk a little bit about the truck I'm gonna pull pull the cover off and you see my body's getting quite destroyed. Uh, that's what happens. I do like that body. It's the cheapest one. If you buy the CR01, the cheapest one is the uh, Rock Soccer, is what they call the one that comes with the uh, it's a Toyota body. So here's my truck. Uh, what have I done with it? I have the Tamiya upgraded kind of expensive uh, dampers, shocks. I have installed uh, stiffer springs on the front. As I said, I do have the uh, steel axles, the upgrade. I have the steel drive shafts front and back, but the one on the back, I lost the pin. So I've replaced that with a PMM or uh, extra speed, depending on where you buy it, uh, drive shaft. So it's also steel. Um, I have those TFL wheels on it. I have PMM or extra speed uh, steering knuckles. You can see them in there. Steering knuckles and cups, so they're, they're aluminum, and I got those front and back. I'm running Savox 1256 uh, TG servos front and back, so I do run four wheel steering. And like my other vehicle originally had in, uh, uh, I'm running brushless and I'm running. A uh, speed energy censored, I don't know if you can see it in there, it's kind of purple, um, censored brushless uh, motor at 27.5 turn. And the ESC is 140 amps and it uh, has turbo on it. So you hold down the trigger, you just tap it twice, and the turbo hits in and this thing gets some speed. So some of the video you might see it just take off or go much faster than normal. Um, that's because of the, the turbo. Uh, as a crawler, I think it works pretty good. Um, it does have quite low axles. Um, the center is not that high. Oh yeah, I also got the aluminum mount in the center there. That's from Tamiya. That's kind of expensive. Let's also put that on. Oh, and a, and a PMM front bumper. So, quite a few upgrades. Um, as a crawler, it is okay. <laughs> um, this one's a bit wider because of the offsets of the wheels than, than the original wheels. I do have I do have the original wheels here um, and they set in a little bit narrower. They set in about there. You can see that. So they, they make it a little bit narrower. I like it a bit wider so it doesn't roll over. These tires, these tires which you can actually buy from TFL with the 
the locking uh, aluminum three-piece three piece, uh, wheels, they're actually quite good. They got foams in them and there's a little bit of collapse before you touch the foam. So that gives quite a bit of grip. So I was actually using those today. Um, I have to say this was one of my favorite vehicles to build. Um, if you're into building Tamiyas, this is definitely a kit worth picking up. Um, I think they're around three, four hundred dollars. Um, and going brushless has worked out quite well. Oh yeah, I got the ball bearing kit in as well. So there's been quite a few upgrades. I don't know how much money's into this, but there's quite a bit of money. Um, I find it a really fun truck. As a crawler goes, they are much better on the market. I won't lie. Um, Axial products, uh, the Traxxas TRX4, those kind of things. Um, they are going to do better crawling. This one's over-engineered. You can see it with the cantilever uh, shocks. This weird um, captured spring system up front. It is quite over-engineered. It is quite interesting. Excellent truck to build. Really fun to drive. If you put some longer shocks on or you found a way to lower these springs, you could probably actually turn this into quite a capable monster truck. Um, but as a crawler, it's pretty good. I have a lot of fun with it and it crawls quite well. So I just want to show you some video. Took it out to a dirt patch and uh, ran it through the dirt. And so we had some fun. So take a look. If you want an interesting, if you want an interesting build, grab, grab, grab a rock sucker. And you'll have uh, quite a fun truck. This thing is quite hefty. It's hurt my arm to hold it up. All right. Let's take a look at the video.